What's going on, YouTube? Here we go again with Tyreek Nasheed. Tyreek Nasheed got a new documentary. It's called Buck Breaking. He's going to talk about the ADOS and all that shit. And I predicted that shit with this meme right here. I posted this meme on my Twitter days before he made the... Uh, uh, announcement about his new documentary. This dude is the biggest hypocrite scam artist on the internet, especially YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Before he, he you know, he jumped in on the Pan Africanist movement. You know, he hustled the shit out of Pan Africanist movement with the hidden colors. 1804, you know, he was talking about all that, you know, black unity and shit. And then after he ran out of juice, he tried to jump on the Aborigine, black Aborigine movement with uh, Dan Calloway. It didn't really work because, you know, the Aborigine shit is kind of too, too fucking cartoonish. It's too... It's too fucking fake. You know, the shit Dan Calloway talks about, it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. So he kind of, Tyreek and his shit just skipped over that. And then, now he has just landed on the Ados movement with his vet Carnell. You know, soon as he heard that, that Ados shit, he just jumped on it. And then he created his own movement called the FBA, Foundation of Black America Movement. Basically, Dick riding Adolf's, you know, you know, so he so he can get his own shit popping. And now he's talking about black immigrants. We're, we're parasites, you know. We come over here. We bring diseases. He's blaming black immigrants for diseases. But this is the same motherfucker who just went to Jamaica <laughs> trying to be cool with all the Jamaicans and shit. But when he come back to the state, he's telling us that we eating off black America. We need to hold our own nuts. We supporting Trump, this and that and the third. This motherfucker here talking about black immigrant black immigrants when we come here we go work for white people we go side with white supremacy but this motherfucker has a white mother-in-law in his house she wears that shikis and she used to be a police officer in boston this motherfucker say the best black woman for a black man is a biracial woman with a white mom this bitch this bitch has nigga i mean i don't like to say nigga but this stupid motherfucker say that that's a big ass contradiction you know one minute he trying to be cool with all with all the black immigrants when when he when he goes uh to the adolf side he started talking all the anti-black black immigrant shit and now he's getting ready to drop an Ados documentary, Buck Breaking. Listen to the name, Buck Breaking. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I predicted this shit. And my advice to, to, to the black American family, stop giving money to these people. People like Tyreek, Yvette Carnell, uh, Dan Calloway, it's a whole bunch of them. These people are scam artists. They're all about themselves. They ain't never built shit for black America. And they're not gonna build shit for black America. Everything they build is for themselves and their family. Get smart, man. Stop getting played by these clowns. What has Tyreek Nasheed built for black America? Nothing. Zero. He's just a 
Uh, he's a poverty pimp, a race hustler, a professional victim. Talking about uh, black America under Obama, you know, we suffer more than Jim Crow. Really, Tyreek? Oh, we got killed more and, and, and suffer way more than Jim Crow era. Because Obama is a first generation black immigrant. And this motherfucker was saying that shit. Jim Crow, Tyreek? You talking about white only bathroom? White only restaurant? White only uh, schools and neighborhoods? Get the fuck out of here, Tyreek. Get the fuck out of here. You live in a fucking mansion, riding around in a Rolls Royce and shit. But you want to talk about, oh man, so bad out here. We suffer more than Jim Crow. Fuck you, man. Get the fuck on out of here. This dude is the one of the biggest scam artists on YouTube. And he ain't got no forehead. <laughs> Look at his head, headline. He ain't got no forehead, man. <laughs> his eyebrows is, is almost close to his hairline. <laughs> This dude's a fucking clown. And if you watch all the debates he had with white supremacists, oh my God, he looked horrible. He looked like a submissive house buck. But yeah, this clown has a documentary. He's about to pimp the shit out of Adolf's movement. Told y'all, man. Y'all gotta be careful on this fucking clowns out here, these race hustlers. But yeah, man, that's all I had to say for right now. I'm about to roll out. I'm going to holler at y'all.